This is Tomo News for Wednesday, February 8th. Catch me outside the plane. How about that? <laughs> A troubled teenager who became an internet star after appearing on the Dr. Phil show was kicked off a flight on Monday for hitting another passenger. The squabble took place on a Spirit Airlines plane out of Los Angeles when a female passenger got tired of waiting for Catch Me Outside girl Danielle Brigoli and her mom to put their bags in the overhead compartment. According to reports, Danielle's mom was struggling because of a cast on her injured foot. An argument between the two parties broke out, in which the teenager said her infamous catchphrase, Catch me outside, how about that? Catch you outside? The female passenger allegedly grabbed Danielle's mom by the throat. The 13-year-old delinquent then cold-clocked the woman in the face. The arguments continued, with the woman using a derogatory word to accuse Danielle of trying to act black, before allegedly spitting at her. Danielle, her mom, and the woman were all booted off the flight and banned for life by Spirit Airlines. Danielle's catchphrase became a meme after her appearance on Dr. Phil in September last year. The show was titled, I want to give up my car-stealing, knife-wielding, twerking 13-year-old daughter who tried to frame me for a crime. Danielle has since been casting in on her internet infamy, racking up millions of followers on social media and selling her line of merchandise. Danielle was in Los Angeles last week to film a reunion with Dr. Phil that's expected to air next week. No arrests were made following the trouble on the plane. Girl gets shotgun she wanted. Internet has meltdown. You give a little girl a gun and everyone loses their minds. This elated 10-year-old, Presley, is receiving her very first Beretta shotgun from her parents, a 686 Silver Pigeon. And just look how happy she is. It might not be every girl's dream to get her hands on one of these, but Presley can wish for whatever she wants. On January 27th, the firearms manufacturer posted the video of her unwrapping the gift, and it's generated a stack of views and plenty of heated opinions too. Let's run through the top comments, shall we? User Alessandro writes, that's America, a place where you can't buy alcohol or cigarettes if you're not 21 years old, but you can easily have your own personal gun. User Grumpy French follows that up saying, What a disgusting gift for a child. No wonder the USA elected a mentally confused fascist with hairdressing issues. Hmm, okay, but is this really a disgusting gift? After all, it's used for shooting clay pigeons, not live ones. Is target practice really a criminal hobby for a child? But maybe you never know. By the end of 2015, at least 265 children under 18 picked up a firearm and shot someone by accident and 83 of those shootings were fatal. You get the feeling Presley's parents are staring down the barrel of the internet's gun, but to their defense comes user Frank Goth. Oh, I so enjoy reading comments from anti-gun people who know nothing of the sport or the level of skill and personal discipline that young lady had to show before her parents bought her a tool that will last her a lifetime. Who is to say, after all, that with dedication and practice, Presley might not someday follow in the footsteps of another woman who started shooting clays at an early age? Frank is pointing to three-time U.S. Olympic gold medalist Kim Rode. Man, he does make a good point, does he not? If Presley is responsible, gets trained properly, and harnesses her talents, she might make a great marksman one day. And where's the harm in that? When it comes to guns in America, especially where children are concerned, the country may always be split. Over. Oh, I can't breathe. What do you think? Should Presley be allowed to have a gun? How do you feel about her tears of joy upon receiving it? Is Beretta wrong for glorifying gun ownership for kids? And what does the reaction so far say about America in 2017? Let us know what you think in the comments. <laughs> new male birth control method may soon be available. A new type of male contraceptive called Vasagel may be able to provide a reversible and less invasive form of vasectomy sperm are transported from the testes along ducts, known as the vas deferens. Vasagel is a polymer hydrogel injected into the vas deferens in order to block the path of the sperm. The permeable gel allows seminal fluid to pass while filtering the sperm, which are too large to pass the barrier. Studies show the gel is 100% effective at preventing conception. 
The procedure can be easily reversed by an injection of a sodium bicarbonate solution. Vasogel is not believed to interfere with sperm production or hormone levels, thus minimizing side effects. Woman who performed sex act in courthouse now wanted by cops. Jacksonville, Florida woman Brittany Jones has been known to push her luck where the law is concerned. But the latest charges against her may be completely bogus, a desperate attempt by police to prove a point to the public. On January 31st, 26-year-old Jones was at the Duval County Courthouse, waiting for a morning arraignment on charges of possession of drug paraphernalia, smuggling contraband into jail, and violation of probation. She had company while she waited, as 35-year-old Jeremiah Robinson sat with her on a bench in the hallway. Jones, trying to have a little fun with her predicament, decided to perform a sex act on Robinson and videotaped it. Jones posted the video to Twitter and bragged about her latest sexcapades. When social media buzz started to build, she told everyone it wasn't her first time and that she'd got down in a Winn-Dixie grocery store on top of some frozen pizzas. Mamma mia! It didn't take long for the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office to go after them, putting out warrants for their arrests. As no one witnessed their dirty deed in person, they can't be charged with indecent exposure. Instead, the cops are trying to slap them with charges of committing unnatural and lascivious acts. Where the deed can be proven to have occurred with video evidence, it also must constitute as unnatural sex. In other words, any type of sex act not geared toward procreation. Some crime experts reporting on this story have claimed it's an old misdemeanor charge, which cops previously used to go after the gay community. Jeremiah Robinson recently turned himself in, pleading not guilty to the charges. Meanwhile, Brittany Jones remains at large. If convicted, they face a sentence of up to 60 days in jail and a $500 fine. Elk makes unexpected home visit. An elk became the second large animal within a week to drop into a house in the same town when it fell into the basement of a home in Haley, Idaho. Last Thursday night, an elk was in the backyard of a home when it got a little too close to a deep window well. The elk ended up falling into the well and crashing through the window into the basement. A man at the house then called police. Haley police officers and Idaho Department of Fish and Game Conservation officers responded to the call. As other officers blocked the doors in the house, one of them smacked the elk on the rump with a hockey stick. This caused the elk to walk up the stairs and out the front door. On January 29th, a moose fell into another home in Haley. That animal had to be tranquilized before officials carried it up the stairs and out the front door. Because of heavy snowfall, large numbers of wildlife have been reported near many residential areas in the town. Heroic ice skaters chop through thick ice to save moose stuck in frozen lake. A video uploaded to YouTube on Wednesday shows the nail-biting moment a group of ice skaters in Sweden risked their lives to rescue a moose that was trapped in a frozen lake. Victor Johansson and his partner Sigrid Schusten were skating on the lake when they spotted the moose. The couple returned with an axe and tried to rescue the exhausted animal by smashing through the thick layers of ice. The pair took turns pummeling the ice for 30 minutes straight. They eventually managed to clear a path for the moose to get to shore, and the animal clambered back onto land and disappeared into the woods. The video, which was uploaded last Wednesday by Johansson, has accumulated more than 500,000 views. This is why humans were put on the planet. We all need to be Earth Keepers, said one commenter. Another said, faith in humanity restored. I thought... British research station in Antarctica skis its way to safety. The British Antarctic Survey has completed the relocation of its Holly research station in Antarctica, some 14 miles inland. 
The Holly 6 Research Station was moved after one of the two chasms in the area became active in 2013, and a new crack was discovered on the Brunt Ice Shelf in October last year. The research station had to be moved 14 miles to a new site for safety. The hydraulic legs allow the station to be raised and lowered, while the skis on the bottom of the legs allow the station to be transported easily. The modules were hauled individually to the new site where they were reassembled. The research center will be closed due to safety considerations, and all staff at the station are currently being evacuated in stages. The station will be reopened in November 2017. Double-headed kitty born in China. Aww, so cute. Xiao Wei from Shenyang in the Chinese province of Liaoning got quite the surprise recently after his cat gave birth to a litter of kittens, including one with two heads. According to the state-controlled People's Daily newspaper, the little guy has three eyes and two mouths. Apparently, there's a one in a million chance of mutations like this occurring, and it could be due to radiation, infection, or a reaction to medicine. Xiao reportedly called the cat Akumaru from the popular Naruto anime series. FYI, Akumaru is actually a freaking dog, but live and let live as they say. Xiao says that he'll never sell Akumaru, adding that he hopes the cat grows up healthy. Woman dies of hypothermia after her arm gets stuck in a clothing bin. A Pennsylvania woman died of hypothermia after getting her arm stuck in the door of a clothing drop-off box while attempting to take out bags from the container. Judith Pamar drove her black Hummer to the clothing bin along Route 54 in Natalie at about 2 a.m. on Sunday and left the car running. She was using a step stool to fish bags out from the bin when it collapsed. The 56-year-old broke her arm and wrist and was unable to get loose. Permar wasn't discovered until 8.30 a.m. She was pronounced dead at the scene. According to the county coroner, Permar died of blunt force trauma and hypothermia. Police said they received a report in November last year of a woman driving a black Hummer removing items from the bin. Military allies test missile defenses. The U.S. and Japan have conducted a successful missile interception test with an interceptor launched from a guided missile destroyer. The test took place on Friday night off Kauai in the Hawaiian archipelago. A medium-range ballistic missile target was launched from the Pacific Missile Range facility on the island. The USS John Paul Jones detected the target with its onboard radar, then successfully intercepted the target with its Aegis missile defense system. The U.S. Navy has 62 guided missile destroyers equipped with the Aegis system, while Japan owns six.